Jackson. Short travel bikes may not be as viscerally exciting as their long-legged, rowdier counterparts, but the selection that we rode here in Park City, Utah, gave us a lot to like. Slacker head angles and deeper feeling suspension combined with stiff, efficient pedaling manners made for a banner year in this category, and the Tallboy may have been the most praised of the bunch. So, Santa Cruz is the new Tallboy. Santa Cruz says it's an XT bike for downhillers or gravity riders. Lydia, you're an actual cross-country racer in the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> is it a cross-country racer's cross-country bike? Uh, I think it depends on the course. Um, for me, when I look for a cross-country bike, I'm looking for um, kind of a mean, raw, like edgy feeling bike. And I don't think this bike is it. Um, but that being said, I think it is the right bike for almost every trail out there. It's um, so versatile and so lovely and it climbs so well. And um, I feel like you don't really sacrifice much on the descents either. Yeah, I mean, on the climbs, like as soon as I got on this bike, I was like, oh, I'm gonna motor up this thing. Right. And I did, like it's, it's It feels so... bright, it feels lively, it's like clean. Yeah. yeah, and just like it's so comfortable in that seated position. I mean, we keep harping on steep, steep C-tube angles. This has one, but it's like, it's way more than that because the suspension is super efficient. And it also, I found, just opens up really well over roots and rocks. Like, you'll be seated and it'll just be moving and doing its thing and keeping traction and still pedaling well. Yeah, I my first um, thought on it was like, what a machine. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, the miracles of engineering. Yes, yes, all of those <laughs> things. And, um, you know, finished the ride, went back out for some more. Yeah. Uh, I wanted more of it. Yeah, I kept uh, picking I this bike for the extra credit rides. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a really nice short back end and like you can pull up on the bars and this thing will manual and you can stuff it in turns. Yeah, it does found... it ever manual though, right? Right. Oh, yeah. 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 I found that it, it likes to like carve turns a little more, I think, than just be pushed into them really sharply. But man, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's just like a natural feeling, fun bike. Uh, it's like a 65 and a half degree head angle, I think. So it's in the low setting, yes. Yeah, yeah, in the and low half. setting. Um, so you can push it pretty hard. Yeah, and it's worth noting it gained some uh, travel compared to last year, um, which I think effectively distances it a little bit from the blur in the Santa Cruz line. Um, so it's definitely more of a trail option than an XC option. Um, but I think it's still handles mostly like an XC bike, at least when you're climbing. Um, but then I was also just blown away by the um, seriousness of the terrain I was able to just mock on this bike. It's just so beautiful down the trail. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it felt like you could you could sort of drop your heels and just like sort of slash through things in a way that you just don't expect to be able to do on a bike like this. Yeah, I was really like using my heels a lot, like just like pumping this bike a lot more than I usually do. Um, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a downhill thrasher though, which is what I like about it. Like you, it's still fun and nimble. And like, I could ride this on really mellow trails and still have a great day. It has me, it has me questioning like, you know, I mean the, the high towers, big brother, right? A bit more travel. Um, does it have that much more ability? I'm, I'm not sure. This one is really stinking good. Yeah, to me, it comes down to like, if, if I, it, it's about like which direction I want to push myself in. Right, like if I want to have a bike and just do normal trail arts, but also maybe like race an enduro or two here or there, or do a couple days in the bike park throughout the season, then the high tower is the way to go. Uh, but on the other, if I'm going the other direction and maybe I want to do a couple cross country races or a couple like 50 milers throughout the season, mm -hmm. then for sure it's going to be the tall boy. Yeah, or, the big uh, long epics, or a think? stage race. Yeah, mm -hmm. like you you would take it for the break epic. I've done the BC bike race a bunch of times. I would take this. I might actually take this bike next year, the BC bike race again. Yeah, yeah so, we, so we talked about this and I think that, um, yeah, it's maybe not necessarily the bike you would take if you're like really pinning it and trying to like win, right? Yeah. Um, but if you want to be comfortable and aggressive and fast and have a really good time, I think this is a great option. It's a bike that will um, suit a lot of riders and I think that you'll be surprised at how um, versatile and plush this amount of travel feels um, on a variety of terrain. 
Yeah, I, it tied for me on the climb. So we've talked about this before. Our, our, our short travel um, slash cross country loop had a lot of roots in it. It was a technical climb. And um, this one tied for me as the best climb up. Um, most comfortable, I didn't feel slower. In fact, I challenged Ferentino to a race on the top fuel. Mm -hmm. If he's in, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I feel that wanna, I do. It makes you wanna do that, right? Yeah. Like I finished a lap on this bike and uh, I kind of put the screws to the photo crew a little bit because I felt like I could. Yeah. <laughs> and it was not very nice of me because they're carrying like 40 pound packs, but <laughs> you know. Rude, it was rude, yeah. but it makes, it makes you feel a little rude, which I think is the yeah. mark of a good uh, fast bike. Is there, is there anything that we, um, you know, any, any holes that we could find in it, you know, as far as Man. spec, price, any of those things, right? Well, I mean, you know, I, I love Santa Cruz's new suspension layout. It makes the bike really like, it's just low slung, it's compact. I think it even improves the handling a little bit. In addition to all the nice ride characteristics you get out of it, the one disadvantage to it is that the sag zone of the shock is like inside the seat tube. And with these Fox shocks, there's no gradient like there is on a Rock Shocks shock. So it's like near impossible to tell what your sag is. Mm. Thankfully, uh, Santa Cruz has a pretty thorough guide online for setting this bike up, and I found it to be pretty spot on. So you just. I, I did too, yeah. Yeah, but I went directly off of their um, recommendations on the website, mm -hmm. and um, I didn't make any adjustments to it. It felt really good. Yeah. yeah. You guys were talking a little bit about the crank length as well, right? That's that's a solid point. You know, they, they do have a low bottom bracket. Um, a high tower specifically runs a 170 on a large. This has a 175 on a large. Mm -hmm. Both John and I agreed, you know, we're not out trying to win races or might not miss that extra five millimeters of, of leverage. And I might be going to a 160 on this, just so I- you not 170? So, yeah, sorry, <laughs> 60, 170. So I don't have to be so conscious of uh, where those uh, where those cranks are all the time. Yeah. They, they will, we will bash in cranks. Yeah, and the medium comes up with a 170, which um, I felt fine with. Yeah, you know, it's, um, it's an $8,000 bike we have behind us. It's got the CC frame, carbon wheels, XO build, and um, it's not super light, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, 29 well, and change, Yeah, right? It was our, our large. 29 and change. Which, I mean, it's, 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 it's lighter than most trail bikes these days, but yeah, you've got to assume the lower end builds are gonna be a couple pounds more. Yeah. Uh, which, you know, that's, that's a big, that's a heavy bike for such short travel. But um, you know, it's it's not an XC bike anymore. It's no. it's really a short travel trail bike. I think it gains Oh, yeah. And you have to say that it carries the weight well, For right? Sure. Like yeah. you don't feel like you're pedaling a 30 pound bike when you're going up a hill. It feels like it's snappy and light. And then you feel like you're reaping all the benefits of having like a stable planted bike on the way down. Yeah, you so. keep that weight low, which it is. Mm -hmm. Man, good things happen. Good things happen. Mm -hmm. It didn't pass muster as a full on XC steed, but was plenty fast, impressively fast even for those of us who don't ever go between the tape. And since it no longer has to be for those who do, this version of the Tallboy can be for everyone else. The stage racer, the trail rider, and yeah, the downhiller. We've got its full review and the rest of the Bible of Bike Test videos at bikemag.com.